Hello, you are welcome to Tiblack and Company official YouTube channel. I also want to welcome you to the beginning of this color theory series. In this series, we shall be analyzing how to use the color wheel and various color schemes and themes available. What is color wheel? The word color theory connotes the collection of rules and guidelines which designers use to communicate with users through appealing color schemes in visual interfaces. To pick the best color combination, designers use a color wheel and refer to extensive collected knowledge about human optical ability, psychology, culture and more. The days of using one color throughout the house with another shade for the trim has long passed. Today's decorators and homeowners embrace the rainbow of colors available to make the home's interior beautiful and create a special environment for your individual tastes and lifestyle. But with so many colors, shades, hues, tints and tones to choose from many people are overwhelmed and confused about how to choose the right mix for their interiors. Many times, we get asked, what are the color trends now? Which is a dangerous question to answer because as we all know, trends change. Look around your home first before forming thoughts about possible color combinations. Rather than following a trend it is more important to look at your own personal preferences, the existing decorating and furnishings, the lighting, natural and artificial, and any fixed colors in your home like brickwork, stonework or exposed beams when making color choices for walls, ceilings and trim. Exterior colors are much more of a constant than interiors. Interior living spaces call for that personal touch and people change interior colors more often than the exteriors of their homes. Terms used in describing color The hue is the pure basis of a color from which lighter or darker variations can be created that are of the same hue. Monochromatic paint schemes utilize variations of one hue. Tints, tones and shades tend to be used interchangeably but in reality, they refer to very different things. The tint of a hue, pure color is achieved by mixing the color with white. The tone of a color results from mixing the pure color with gray. The intensity of a color can be toned down by adding gray. The shade of a pure color combines the color with various small amounts of black. The value of a color relates to the lightness or darkness of the same hue. Light blue and dark blue may have the same hue but different values. Paint themes are derived from different choices from the color wheel. The basic themes include monochromatic, complementary, analogous, triadic and tetradic themes. The colors in the wheel are divided into primary colors, red, yellow, blue, secondary colors, orange, green, violet, and intermediate colors, achieved by mixing one primary and one secondary. Intermediate colors are also called tertiary colors. These paint theme terms are used when discussing how paint colors relate on the color wheel. A good understanding of the color wheel is needed to choose color combinations that will work well together. The color wheel is based on 12 colors, although more colors may be shown if tints, tones or shades are included. Color themes, schemes monochromatic theme The monochromatic theme uses variations on one pure color. A monochromatic color scheme will only use one basic color or hue. So that would be light blue walls with darker blue trim both based on the same base color. Typical color strips from paint companies show a range of values on one strip that is based on one hue. Complementary theme on a color wheel you will find complementary colors are directly opposite each other. For instance, red and green are complementary colors. The complementary theme can be used effectively when one color is used as a dominant color and the other used in a subtle color based on the complementary color hue. This theme creates the most striking design impressions. These themes are used for intense or modern looks. Analogous theme also called an adjacent theme uses colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. So, for instance, yellow, yellow-green, and green or red, red-violet, and violet. These combinations are common in nature and therefore pleasing to our eyes. They can create brightness in interior spaces, but remember to choose one hue as the main color and the others to be used to accent that color. Triadic theme The triadic theme uses three colors on the color wheel that are equidistant on the wheel. So, they will form a triangle by their location on the wheel. A dominant color and a subtle color must be identified to avoid two dominant colors clashing. If the intermediate colors of yellow-orange, blue-green and red-violet were used that would be considered a triadic paint theme. Tetradic scheme four colors that form a square by their position on the color wheel are also considered harmonious and may be a part of a color theme too. The tetradic scheme, double complementary, is the richest of all the schemes because it uses four colors arranged into two complementary color pairs. This scheme is hard to harmonize, 
If all four colors are used in equal amounts, the scheme may look unbalanced, so you should choose a color to be dominant or subdue some of the colors. When deciding where and how to use the colors you choose in a room something called the 6-0, 3-0, 1-0 rule is great for determining the amount of each color in a room. Devote 60% of everything to your main color, and the rest divided accordingly. This flows right through decorating pieces, furnishing and accessories as well. Your 10% may not even be in the paint, it may be in the pillows, lamps and artwork. Warm colors and cool colors we often hear colors referred to as warm colors or cool colors. The illustration below indicates that warm colors are red, orange, and yellow while cool colors are blue, green, and violet. Both warm and cool colors can be used effectively in the same room. Color actually has a language of its own. Remember what color means to your client is more important than these basic ideas about color. Color choices should reflect personal preferences over universal opinions. For instance, what do you choose in your clothing colors? What magazine covers appeal to you? And how about your cars or accessories? Take a look around at your surroundings and note what has appealed to you. That will provide a good starting place for planning your interior paint choices. Remember that colors can lean in different directions from where they start on the color wheel, picking up traits of the neighboring color. You may start with green, but when you lean towards yellow you can transform the calm green into a livelier pear color. Red can mix in a bit of purple or violet and add passion and sensuality. Blue can add a bit of green ending up with a teal that provides a great place to start and add touches of purple for a jazzy look or blue and green for a harmonious look. Think of the room you are considering and the mood you are after. Tranquil, romantic, exciting, hungry, uplifting, etc. Then think about what colors will create that feeling for you. Color interpretations. Red, a stimulating color, never to be overused but used right it can really deliver. Impulsive personalities gravitate towards red. Yellow, increased mental stimulation and added brightness in rooms with limited or no windows. Extroverted, high-energy individuals may lean toward yellow and red accents. Yellow is high-energy and cheerfully uplifting. Orange, said to influence appetite, a popular choice for dining rooms and appealing to the non-conformists and opinionated among us. Green, has a calming effect on nerves, even said to lower blood pressure. Green is a favorite for many intense individuals and can create really dramatic effects when combined with other colors. Green is the color of nature creating a friendly and comforting atmosphere where it is used. Blue, another calming color, decreasing effect on appetite and appealing to those that are cool, calm and collective. In nature we think of the blue sky and sea and the calmness and tranquility present there. Violet, a royal color that also has a calming effect along with its purple and lavender brothers and sisters. White, has been the color of purity and cleanliness so if that's you lean toward the thousands of variations of white available, perhaps combined with something a bit more daring for your accents. Black, can create a sophisticated, elegant or bold element when used correctly in your color palette. Never use too much black or it will lose its effect and overpower everything. Lime green this means growth, harmony, fertility, kindness and dependability. It is used to restore energy, promote growth and rejuvenate. Pink this connotes compassion, love, immature, playful and admiration. It can be used to communicate energy, increase pulse, motivate action and encourages creativity. Brown this depicts reliability, stability, honesty, comfort and natural. It is used to stabilize, imply common sense, suppress emotions and create warms. Gray gray means natural, practical, conservative, formal and quiet. This creates sense of composure, Depress energy, associates timeless and communicate maturity. One, tried and true, method for interior paint choices is to paint the walls a neutral color like a beige, off-white and the ceiling white. This is a choice many sellers opt for when wanting to help the marketing their home with a fresh, clean coat of paint. Do not forget to like, subscribe and share our channel. Thank you.